Hello guys, welcome back to English study. Today we will discuss about the most important facts of Old English period and some question answers from the period. I have already discussed the main characteristics of Old English period in my previous video. So, if you didn't watch the video, please at first watch that video and then come to this video. Okay, so let's start. At first, we should know how the name England is formed. Okay. At first, what happened? Angles, Saxon and Jutes. Actually, there are three races who came from German to Britain to help the English people. Who were English people? The main English people were the Celts. Okay. To defeat or drive away Picts and Cots from there. But what happened? But gradually they settled down there. And the place got the name England. By the name of the tribes, Angles and Saxons. And then the Celts were also driven out from England and they settled in different places. Okay. And where they settled? They settled in five places. Firstly, in Cornwall. The language of Cornwall is Cornish. And then Wales. The language is Wales. And then in Ireland, the language of the Ireland is Irish. And then in Scotland. And their language is Scottish Gaelic. So I think about the name of the England, there will be no confusion. And then now come to the facts. What is an Old English period? Actually, the Old English period indicates the traditions, language and literature written or spoken in England in the time of Anglo-Saxons. So, I think it is clear. And now, do you know who was the first poet of English period? Old English period? That is Catemon or Sidmon, someone tells. But the main actual pronunciation is Catemon. Old English themes of poetry. The Old English poetry was written when there were battles, conflicts and struggles. It has common themes of morality, bravery and religious values, supernaturalism and bloodshed. Okay. And Kate Mon, Sinewolf, B.D., Alfred the Great were the important writers of this period. And the most important poems of this, of this period is Beowulf, the Wanderer, the Seafarer. Okay. And their important dialects were Kentish, Martian, Northumbrian and West Saxon. And Angles, Jutes and Saxons were known as Germanic tribes. As they came from German, we know, we have already understood. And the writing style of Old English poetry was the heroic Germanic and the Christian style. Then, how an Old English poetry has survived? The, the Old English poetry were survived in four manuscripts. 
that is Kedmon manuscript or Junius manuscript. Secondly, Bartsali book. Then, Exeter book and at last, Norwell Codex or the Beulf manuscript. Every point is very very important for UGC net and in other exams also. And the most prominent prose writer and works of this period are the writer is Alfred the King who translated from Latin to Old English actually. He was actually a translator. Geoffrey the Great and the Pastoral Care are the most important writings of the of that period. And who was Alfred? He was the king of Wessex. He was called Alfred the Great. He became the great king of England. He had defeated Vikings. Okay. And who was Edward the Confession? In 1042, Edward becomes the king of England. He was so religious that he was called Edward the Confessor because he was very relig religious person. Why Battle of Hastings takes place? The main reason behind the battle is the death of King Edward and him leaves no hair. Okay, and that's why the battle took place. Can you tell who won the Battle of Hastings? The Battle of Hastings was won by William the Conqueror, who is also called the Duke of Normandy. It was fought between Harold the Anglo-Saxon English King and William. And William won the battle. When did Vikings attack Britain? In 787 AD. Okay. So these are the important facts from Old English period. And now come to the question answer. Question number one. One of the oldest poems in English Beulf is written by which writer? Beulf was written but there is no evidence of the writer. It was unknown. Okay, so answer will be unknown. Question number two. The monster Grendel appears in the poem. So, what was the name of the poem where the Grendel appears? Appears in Beulf. And in the next video, I will tell you the story of Beulf. Okay. So, at first, remember these points and then watch the next video also. Number three. The poem Wheat Seed, probably the oldest in English, is about this personal accounts of the minister's life. So, this is the subject matter of the poem Wheat Seed. How many tribes came to England in the middle of the 5th century? There were three tribes, Angles, Saxons and Jutes. And why did they come there? They, they came to help the Celtics. Okay, you know Celts were the main inhabitant of England. Who is called father of our English learning? Bid or Bidi is called the father of our English learning. Who wrote Ecclesiastical History of English People? 
Bidi wrote the Englishistical history of English people. Who wrote? Paraphrase. Kedmon wrote paraphrase. The didactic poem Christ is written by whom? By Sinulf or Kinulf. Who translated Bede's history into English in Anglo-Saxon period? King Alfred translated Bede's history into English in Anglo-Saxon period. Who contributed to English Saxon Chronicles? King Alfred contributed to English Saxon English or Saxon Chronicles. Okay. Next question number eleven. Alfred became the king of Wessex in dash in eight seven one AD. Next question Harold the last of the Saxon king defeated in which battle? In the Battle of Hastings that occurred in 1066. That is Norman Conquest actually. Norman Conquest was the Battle of Hastings that took place in 1066. Next question. National Epic of England is Beowulf. Next question. Pagan literature. What is pagan literature? Pagan literature does not believe in God and religion. What is the time life of Anglo-Saxon period? It is 450 to 1066. Who wrote? The fate of the apostles and Ellen. Sinulf wrote the fates of apostles and Ellen. Beulf is based on the story of Des, a monster and king. Beulf is actually a story of a monster and king. Which is the oldest Anglo-Saxon Biblical poem? Oldest Anglo-Saxon Biblical poem. This is Exodus. Which is the earliest poem in our literature? Beulf is the earliest poem in our literature. And Beulf consisted of how many narratives? There were three successive narratives in Beulf. Okay. Which poem depicts mostly, most vividly the tribal life and rights of ancient days? This is Beulf. And what is the oldest epic in Germanic literature? It is also Beulf. The line, come on the dark night, gliding the shadowy prouter, prowler, has been taken from the poem Beulf. Next question. The character of Hioranda appears in which poem? In Dwar, B.D. wrote his ecclesiastical history in which language? In Latin. Cadmon is a writer from which century? From 7th century. Anglo-Saxon. Milton is known Kedmon means Kedmon is known as Anglo-Saxon Milton. Poems of Kedmon. Mention two poems of Kedmon. This is Dream of the Root and the Judith. 
during the Anglo-Saxon period in England, Anglican came from which country? Anglican came from Germany. The first English public school was founded by whom? Alfred the Great. So this is very very important question. A uh, written literature began to evolve in Britain with the coming of the Christian churches. Okay. At that time, the written literature began to evolve in Britain after the with the coming of Christian churches. Alfred the Great managed to unify Britain temporarily by by which action? By defeating the Danes. And then the next question. The first German people to invade Britain's and settled there were called Jutes. Okay. One of the principal functions of Anglo-Saxon poet was to recite songs and tales. Next, St. Augustine came to England from which country? From Rome. The first Archbishop of Canterbury was St. Augustine, who introduced Christianity to Britain. Romans introduced Christianity to Britain. Where did the Saxon originally come from? The Saxons originally come, came from Northern Germany. Okay. Poetry of Anglo-Saxon was passed down through what means? Through oral traditions. Original inhabitants of Britons were Celts. We have already known. Was the Celts believed That was the Celts belief. Polytheist was the Celts belief. Okay. When did what did the Anglo Saxon call Britons? The Anglo Saxons called Britain Anglo land. Famous Celts king was King Alfred. Besides being a poet, Alfred is a great dash goer. Alfred King died in 901 AD. Praises of virginity has been written by Althelum. Okay. So, all the questions answers from Old English period have been completed. And in the next video, I will discuss the story of Beowulf and then about the Middle English characteristics and if it's possible, then some question answers from Middle English. So, today I am not taking any other topics because then it will be a lengthy video. So, thank you. Thank you very much for watching the video. Please love my channel and never forget to subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you. Thank you very much.